Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Oblivion Override. This is a brand new, it's a demo on Steam right now. Uh, part of the Steam Next Fest, we get tons of demos that we can try out and just look at what's coming up in the future. This is a very much so a Dead Cells inspired game more than anything else by far. Uh, so if you're into Dead Cells, it might be something worth looking at. There is meta progression, but we'll save that until after we see some action, I think, here. So you're gonna notice mostly top left is our health. Bottom left is our current move set, and it looks like you just spawn with a random weapon every time you die. That's what I've noticed so far. I've done three-ish runs right now, and it's a pretty challenging game. It's uh, it's definitely uh, giving me a run for my money. So you get two dashes. One of the nice things about the dashes is that you have eight directional movement with it, so you can actually you know, dash diagonally up, down, left, right, etc. Straight down, straight up. Uh, so you get the two dashes. We have a basic attack here. Uh, there was a parry move while I was playing the tutorial, but I have not seen it come back since, unfortunately. So I assume that you need a particular weapon for to see it again, but I still haven't. I haven't gotten it back. So we do have a Y cooldown ability. There you go. That was it right there. Avoiding the trap, picking up the currency. You can see the mini map the top right it is um you know i'm i'm down to hear some opinions here because it is extremely like dead cells you know potentially to a fault but it has some it definitely had some promise so i felt it was like a decent idea to show it see what people think there is meta progression a little bit unlike dead cells it offers unlocks and meta progression whereas dead cells well, actually dead cells kind of yeah the dead cells does have meta progression I kind of tend to forget about the health pots and everything. There is an interesting uh, leveling system in the middle of runs that we'll have to show you when we get enough of the currency. Oh, okay, I didn't see you there. All right, so the enemies are meant to indicate when they're attacking uh, via the red. I guess when they flash red, kind of, which also might be similar to Dead Cells. Some enemies are stunnable. If they have the outline, it means that you cannot stun lock them, as you can see here, and you're going to need to dodge or parry to get around it. I'm kind of disappointed that they haven't given me the opportunity to fail at parrying more yet. I'm sure it'll happen, but it seems uh, it seems odd that I got to use it in the tutorial and I have not seen it since. You can swap weapons in the middle of the run. There are things like shops. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of enemies. Take these guys out first, huh? Okay, just watching the cooldown. Dashing when necessary. Let's get rid of the ranged guy. I only hit one. There are things like dash strikes here as well. I think it's the leveling system that is potentially making it very interesting. So in the top left, you'll see the 48 out of 100. So now's probably a good time to look at it. It appears as though as any, at any point in the run, you can open up the screen and spend your purple cubes, I'm just gonna call them. <laughs> and there's different types here. I haven't fully understood it yet, but yeah, charges plus one for any chargeable skills. So is our skill chargeable? I don't know. Dash charges more quickly. Oh, so you get them back more quickly. Boost move speed for a short time after dash. Eh. Weapon skill damage plus 30% when more than three enemies around you. You can re roll for 10. Hmm. Let's try a supercharger and hopefully it actually works here. And then it re-rolls after that. Max always deal max weapon damage. Okay, so if you have a range in your weapon damage, I gotcha. You want to pay attention to the types. I don't know about the colors so much as uh, the actual icon on the right side, because you can see on the bottom that you can get more than I don't know how to describe it from here on, but we're at it. We're at a purple cubes anyway, so let's move on for now. It looks like you can kind of level up, essentially. Keep but addictive gotcha box. 
I think this is, you can buy meta currency. So the top currency on the bottom right there is the one we can use in this shop. So we're gonna have to hold out for now because we don't really have enough for anything. Okay, we got our teleports. Kind of no point in that right now though. One uh, cute little thing you can do is you can actually just straight up run up the walls right out of the get-go. I do think the game's not as fluid as it could be at moments. Like interrupting, interrupting your combo can be kind of iffy, spotty, I guess is the way I'd describe it. Hmm, there's not a lot of places to go here, huh? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, it feel. It could just be, be me being bad also, I'll admit. Hold on, I'm lost. Okay, just use this teleport to go to that teleport. Okay. Made some progress. Get him into the little traps here. So sometimes you have actual room encounters where it pauses like right now, and you have to defeat all the enemies to move on. Sometimes you just get stragglers here and there. But we did not get an extra charge to our Y ability that we already have, unfortunately. I guess it doesn't count. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, I suspected that it might not work, but I didn't know for certain. So basically, we wasted that those 40 purple cubes. Could have been very useful. <laughs> okay. Live and learn, right? All right, looks good. There's quite a bit here for just a demo right now, I gotta say, though. Kind of a surprising amount. What does this do again? I think it gives me a weapon, yeah. All right, so we can get a Bayonets plus one. A lot less damage, but it hits more rapidly. Also, weapons have experience, which, yeah, I don't, I'm not really certain. <laughs> Let's see, dash striking, attack after dash and use a special attack, crit rate plus 4%, weapon skill damage plus 20% when HP is full. My HP is full? That never happens. We'll try it out though. I said I'll, I'll, I'll try it out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, right, now we get the extra charge because the weapon skill for this one is actually uh, chargeable. Okay, that's actually kind of good, right? Gotta dash through that. Check down here first. I definitely want to make sure we visit the shop before we move on. There is a boss currently in the game. That was a weapon skill. Okay. Oh no, it's a bonk. Yeah, this is one of those things where once I start attacking, it feels like it's hard to interrupt myself sometimes. Which I, which is always frustrating to deal with, right? But it is a, you know, a legitimate mechanic in many, many games, so you just gotta get used to it. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, so we have 57 purple cubes again. Let's see, so... 15% chance to drop a random supply chest each time you enter a new area. Attack damage plus 15% double attack when more than three enemies around you. Kind of just like that. Attacks always deal max weapon damage. Let's look at... Let's see. Can I look at my weapon? There is a way to do it. I'm not certain how. Unless there's a Y button for details. I wonder what that means. Every dead enemy around you grants plus 2%. Oh, that's what that level does if I get more of that icon. Let's do this one for now. So we already have one hand grip. We have one, whatever this one is, belligerence, belligerence. Every dead enemy grant, around you grants plus 2%, stacks up to a bunch of times, lose half tiers after being hit. Oh, that does sound like me though. Skill cooldown minus blah, blah, blah. Okay, weapon skill damage plus 30%. After using a weapon skill, 30% chance to skip the cooldown. I can't afford it though, not yet. We could wait and grab that. We'll go for this one for now. Partially to get the uh, belligerence level up. Okay, why don't we skip looking at that? Okay, where are we going? Go here, keep going. 
Oh, come on. I looked away. I had to make sure I was recording because I, you know, you never know. Oh my goodness. I made some mistakes. Okay, the weapon skill is especially dangerous to utilize because turns out you don't have time to use it without getting hit. You're going to be in big trouble. Or at least that's what it feels like. Oh no, that's going to go off. Okay. But you only want to use it when you have time to actually... Ooh, see the whole animation here, I'd say. Does that make sense? I think I'm making sense. Dash through that. Watch out for the bumblebees. Okay, almost there. All right, all right, all right. We're already back up to 30 purple cubes. Gotta make sure we get make good use of that. This is the way to the boss now. I have not beaten. I've gone into like half. Quite challenging. Looks like we've cleared everything here. Let's run back to the shop, see what we want to buy here. We probably don't want to swap weapons at this point. Can we agree? Jet Fist, that's a weapon. Can't afford the bad jacket. For deleted evolution abilities. Oh, you can delete them. Plus 300 HP. Oh, that just heals you. Oh, for some reason I thought it was something you might equip. Well, it was probably still worth it. <laughs> Okay. Just about boss time. We just gotta check the evolutions again real quick. Ah. Crit damage decreases as the target enemy's HP falls. Max crit damage plus 60%. Exclusive to Crimson. This is free? Assume a stance to counter, then strike upward. No cooldown. Exclusive to Crimson. I think it's because uh, there's supposed to be more than one playable character, if I understand correctly. So this is free? It was free. It was indeed free, and I didn't really love the other options anyway. So wait, that just giving me the parry? I think it might have given me the parry. That one's not great if we're just fighting the boss. Spawn a hologram dealing... No, wait, we can't afford that. Skill damage? Hmm... I'll just grab it. It's fine. Anything else for free? Kind of weird that you have to find the parry here a little bit. Kind of incentivizes you to, to roll here, though, maybe. So there's that at least. Yeah, the parry is now here, I believe. Yeah, that's the parry. All right, now I actually have to use the parry, though, which is going to be a problem. <laughs> we'll do our best. Wait a minute. I'm not, I don't recognize this. I thought it was gonna, oh, is it gonna be, is there more than one boss already? Wow, I'd be surprised if there's more than one possible boss. Okay, I haven't seen this boss. I saw a different one that annoyed me. All right, just don't get hit.com. The smasher. Okay, I immediately got hit by the first move. Use up our abilities. Okay, that one, there's an aftershock. Okay, good to know. Okay, you, that's a straight down. Okay, oh, there's fewer indicators on the boss. Okay, I did actually, oh, okay, so when you parry, you do a counter move, essentially. So you'd wanna be close. Okay, that's fine. There we go, that's a parry. A little bit of a counter there. One, two, three. Did parry, but not much point to it. There we go. Uh, it's so tanky, isn't it? There you go, that's the phase change. It's around half now. Why aren't you taking damage? Oh no, what is that? Oh no. <laughs> Whoa! My goodness!
Ah, oh, I tried to parry. Missed it though, a little too late, I think. Okay. Oh, the rocks will get you too. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Woo! Ah, uh, got me with the middle punch right at the end there. Too bad. Challenging. The boss fight is really long, which it can be okay, but they hit pretty hard. It does feel a little bit spongy, I think, at, at that point. But hey, nice quick uh, little demo hit here. And, you know, I wish I could give you more full game releases that, you know, I played for more one or two, for more than one or two videos. But we, got, we haven't gotten a lot of, I, I don't know, I'll describe it as big releases lately, but tons of uh, promising looking games. All right, let me show you the meta currency kind of skill tree in case you're interested. There is a vendor that simply unlocks new weapons that you can find throughout the runs also. I probably skipped showing you that, or you can envision it. So we use our green cubes here for some permanent upgrades. I already had a couple. Um, so you get things like chance to get item at base door, plus max HP. You got just plus weapon damage. You can do more than one here too. Uh, always get 10% extra weapon XP. I don't, I'm not certain how that works yet. Uh, start with some more, some money here. I think that's what script is at least. Let's see, mecha skill damage. I'm not certain what that is. One percent chance to have advanced weapon specialty. I'm not certain what that means either. There's a lot here that I'm not certain what it means exactly. These are pretty small. So for instance, here it goes from weapon school down minus four percent to six percent. So it's kind of teeny tiny sometimes. So we'll probably just add some weapon damage here. I think at this point. All right, let me think about Oblivion Override. I think it's okay. It has a, it does have some promise. Um, I think I like especially that evolution system with the different uh, level ups that you can get there. That that to me kind of added enough to make me want to show it to everybody. All right, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the deal. And I'll check you out in the next video. All right, bye everyone.